Hi, this is Scott, and um, I'm here today to give a little overview of a uh, new service I found called PushBots. PushBots is a service that allows developers um, to integrate push notifications into their Android and iOS applications. And today I'm going to talk or show how to um, integrate PushBots into an iOS application. So let's get started. So first, um, let's go to pushbots.com and let's kick up, click on Dev Center. So once you're in the Dev Center, let's scroll down to iOS. Because I don't have a project, I'm going to click New Project. OK. The first step um, is basically under um, the developer.apple portal. Here we are on developer.apple.com. I've logged in. And I'm going to go to App IDs under the Identifiers tab. I'm going to click Add. And I'm going to create a new App ID. Let's call it um, Test Pushbots. OK. I'm going to click push notifications, and my bundle ID will be called com.scott.testpushbots. It's important to remember this bundle ID because we'll use it later um, when we create an Xcode project. So write it down somewhere. OK. Um, confirm my, your Apple ID and press submit. OK. We're done. We've created a new app ID called Test Pushbots. So now, section two, generating your app push certificate. We're going to go back to the iOS provisioning profile. We're going to go in here. We're going to click on it, and we're going to press Settings. And we're going to scroll down, and we're going to go down here to the Development SSL Certificate. We need to generate this. So let's click on Create Certificate. It's going to take us to the screen. And we need to create a CSR file. OK, so let's continue. Um, so we're prompted with this, and we basically need to choose a file, but we haven't created a CSR file yet. And this is where Keychain comes in. Now. Keychain. Since I'm in here, I'm going to go to Certificate Assistant, request a certificate from a certificate authority. OK, I'm going to save this to desk. I'm going to put it on my desktop. We're done. It's time to upload it to developer.apple.com to get our to generate our certificate. So I'm going to choose a file, the file I just downloaded to my desktop, and I'm going to click generate. Okay, your certificate is ready. Press done. Well, I'll click download, and that's going to download a certificate down here to my bottom bar of my browser. So let me bring up Keychain real quick. I'll bring Keychain over here, and I'm going to select this development certificate and drag it in to my login. Okay. In doing that, I now have a certificate down here called Apple Development iOS Push Services semicolon com dot scott dot test pushbots. So it's looking good. Export. I'm going to save it under this. And I'm going to save it to my desk. It's asking me to um, create a passphrase for the certificate. And it's important to remember what this certificate passphrase is later, because you will need it when you're creating an application in PushBots. OK. And now it's asking me just for my general um, password for my computer. And voila, we're done. It was saved to the desktop. OK. In the third section, um, you've got to add your certificate to your PushBots application. Um, I don't have any PushBots applications yet, so I'm going to click on New PushBots App. And I'm just going to click this link right here called Create New PushBots Application. OK, so my application title is going to be Test PushBots and Test. And um, the platform is going to be iOS. So I come down here. Um, the certificate type is Development. I'm going to upload the P12 file I just saved to my desktop. And I'm going to put in that passphrase that I included, that I told you to remember. So I'm going to say Add Application. And here we are. And this red box right here is not an error. It's just letting you know that there are no devices connected to this PushBots application yet. So I can close this. And it tells me some things, like the application title, the application ID, the application secret. Okay. 
So let's go and create a iOS provisioning profile for this particular app. So I'm going to go back to the uh, developer.apple.com website and I'm going to go to provisioning profiles, uh, specifically development. And I'm going to add a new one. Okay, this is an iOS app development provisioning profile. And I'm going to click continue. And I'm going to select the app ID that I just created called test pushbots and hit continue. Okay. Okay. Profile name test pushbots. And let's generate this provisioning profile. Okay. So I'm going to download this. Once it's downloaded, um, I'm going to click on it and it automatically opens up Xcode and saves this provisioning profile in Xcode. It's just been saved here as test pushbots. Okay, time to create an Xcode project. Um, we're going to go to Xcode and create a new project. So, um, let's do this, cancel, uh, file new project. And here I'm going to click a new single view application. And the product name, um, this, it's really important that you name Bonds. You name your application uh, to give it the same bundle identifier that you've done previously. So com.scott.testpushbots is the bundle identifier I've been using to date. And it's the one I asked you to write down earlier. Okay. Click next. And I'm just going to save this to my desktop. And now I have a new Xcode application, test pushbots. Go to build settings scroll down to the code signing section and I want to make sure that the appropriate test pushbots um, is selected. Okay. Okay. Now it's time to implement the pushbots framework. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to download the iOS framework. While this is downloading, I'm going to go to step number two, which is adding some frameworks to my Xcode application. And that's the system configuration, mobile core services, and core telephony frameworks. So if I go here, I'm going to go to build phrases, link binary with libraries, and I'm going to add in these three new libraries. System configuration. Mobile Core Services, and Core Telephony. Okay. So now that the Pushbots framework is downloaded, I'm going to extract this in my Downloads folder. And I'm going to drag the Pushbox framework from my Downloads folder into the frameworks of the file. Be sure to click to copy the items into your destination groups folder and say finish. And now I have the pushbots framework in my Xcode project. So step four is where we are now and it's important that we need to create a pushbots plist file. I'm going to put it under supporting files. I'm going to say new file. I'm going to choose an iOS resource file called property list and I'm going to name it pushbots.plist. I'm going to save it under my project. Okay. So to add or to modify this plist file, I'm going to um, open as source code. And in the documentation, Pushbots has provided the exact documentation or the exact code to copy and paste into your PLS file. Copy and paste it under your app ID. You have to put your app ID here. And it's the application ID 
of your that's stored in pushbots.com. Okay. Cool. Okay. Now it's time to add some lines of code to our app delegate. Um, in our um, app delegate, first I'm going to import the pushbots um, framework. And then I'm going to add a couple, a few lines of code under the did finish launching with options section. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the pushbots get instance line of code. And then I'm going to add this second, or basically item number seven here, to handle notification data. Okay? Additionally, there are two helper functions that you need to add to the app delegate that I'm going to put down here at the bottom. And all this code is included in the documentation on pushbots.com. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to build and run the app on my device. So I've connected my iPhone and I'm going to press run. And it's launching now. And it looks good. And I'm getting some I'm getting some feedback that it's 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 initializing and it's reading some information here. So if I go to pushbots.com, um, go into my dashboard, and if I look at the application that I've created, um, I can click on it, and I can see that there's one device that's been connected. And what that tells me is that now this pushbots, my pushbots platform, has one registered device, and now I can do really cool things with it. Um, to give you an example of what I can do, I can go in here and underneath my, my app, test pushbots, I can do a push notification. If I click on this little button, I can say stuff like, um, hi, it's Scott. Here is a test. If I send push, it pushes on my application. And there it shows up. So thank you very much for listening. 